Days of record-breaking rain finally taking its toll on the Ashburton Bridge. The debris piled up against the piers, the surface of the bridge giving way. We've had what has been significant flooding, you know, one in a hundred year return, and, you know, we've... Um, We've suffered, we've suffered some damage here. Police immediately cordoned off the bridge this morning for fear it could collapse after motorists felt it slump. You can see the whole the slump in the bridge has gone right across the bridge now, so it's not looking that good. It's the first time we've ever seen anything like this in all the long time I've lived here. This isn't just any bridge, it's a section of State Highway 1 that critically links the south. South Island's nearly cut in half really, isn't it? Many have been left stranded on the wrong side. And my wife is on the other side working in the emergency department. We sold the house and uh, now we can't move. And luckily the people living in Christchurch, they can't move down. Got over here to go to work this morning, prior to 7 o'clock, but so they might as well stay working to find out whether they're going to get home or not. Some didn't have the same patience. Police having to intervene when this man tried to make an unauthorised crossing. The closure creating overwhelming demand at the only supermarket servicing Tinwald residents, south of the bridge. People are just going in and just scooping into their baskets and whatnot, but hopefully got milk for a four-year-old boy. Desperation as people pick over what's left. Problems at the moment, water. Uh, baby formula, nappies are getting low. A lot of bread. Thankfully, it's some deliveries off. made it up from Dunedin. Tomorrow we don't know what we get and we're scrambling now to find out what stock we can get through. Authorities today have been working hard on alternative routes on rural roads. There's water still under the bridge, a lot of water, so that'll need to be diverted or naturally go down before any work can probably start on those piles underneath. Just how long Ashburton is divided will depend on how much more pressure the bridge can take. Keisha Brantley joins us now live from Tinmold just outside of Ashburton. And Keisha, you've been on the ground all day. What's the latest? Well, at any minute now, this bridge is about to undergo its first safety test to see how much weight it can take. 12 14-tonne concrete blocks have just arrived. They're going to put, use a crane to put these blocks onto the damaged part of the bridge to see if it's safe enough for lightweight, slow-moving traffic and to see whether they can open one or maybe even two lanes as early as tonight. There's still a lot of people stranded either side of the bridge, so there'll be a huge sense of relief if people can finally make it back home home and back onto their side of the bridge. Keisha, thank you.